All right, everybody, welcome back. The University of Guam AmeriCorps organization is hosting several events in remembrance of 9-11. A memorial display will be open to the public until September 14th at the UOG Student Rotunda. Now here to tell us more is UOG AmeriCorps member, Mr. Ben Leon II. the second. Ben, half a day. Half a day, thank All you right. for having me. All right, we're very happy to have you here. And uh, very good of you and the members of AmeriCorps to honor um, you know, the victims and also the heroes of 9-11 and everything. So uh, tell us exactly what is in the display and what can people expect to see and, and who produced it? All right, well, um, we started it about a couple years ago in the student government. And uh, as I moved on to become the program director for AmeriCorps, I, uh, you know, threw at my members this vision of what we can do to honor uh, the memory of the 9-11 event. And uh, so basically in the rotunda, you're going to see a replica of the towers. And then um, all the walls have something significant. Uh, we have one wall in which has a list the names of all uh, 3,000 plus uh, people that perished uh, that day. And as well as um, we have a wall honoring our fallen uh, brothers and sisters from Guam and Micronesia. So that's a, that's a real big um, uh, interest getter uh, right there. Mm -hmm. And then we also have um, a prayer wall with, um, right. that, that we can use to, to give uh, messages actually to our current soldiers who are uh, fighting out, now, mm -hmm. out in um, the war. And, uh, and then pictures of some of our family members who are serving. So we wanted to honor them as well for their sacrifice. And then uh, we have the timeline. Uh, so that's basically what they would find in the Rotunda area. So now, just based on your description, I, I would think that, you know, just passing by the different sections as you guys have, you know, like, as you said, you know, you compartmentalized everything into, like, different, different areas. You go through so many different emotions, I would think, just taking it in and everything. So n now that it's actually been completed and you walk by it and you've been involved since the very beginning, how does it impact you? Well, it, it's come a long way. Uh, I, I have to give a lot of credit to the AmeriCorps members that took charge. Um, you know, basically I gave them a vision and they, they carried it out. And uh, it's, it's, it is, you, like you said, emotions in different sections, uh, it, it runs high. And it, 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 for me to, to see the final product, it, it's really uh, something to see. Uh, but I also wanted to mention uh, real quickly too mm -hmm. that on 9-11, we do have a ceremony where we're lighting candles uh, as well as we're working with Dr. McNinch in uh, doing a ceremony for the reading of the names. So that's going to take a couple hours. So we're, we're going to start it right immediately after um, we acknowledge the second tower being hit. We're going to start uh, with the reading of the names throughout the event for the uh, um, for the till everyone's mentioned. Okay. And uh, what time is this going to happen? This uh, we're going to start at 8:30. Okay. Uh, and then obviously the first tower struck at 8:46, so we're going to acknowledge that as well as the second tower being struck at 9:03, and then after that we will commence with the uh, reading of the names. Okay. Now outside, inside is a remembrance of 9/11, uh, but outside we wanted to also we're calling it celebrate freedom because we want to also acknowledge the good that, ca uh, that came from that tragic day. And uh, we wanted to, you know, invite the local and uh, military communities to come out. We're, we're providing them free hot dog, popcorn, cotton candy, and there's jumpers for the kids. So there's a rock wall that's going to be there and, and other uh, events for the, the people that show up. So we're really inviting the island community to come out and join us as we uh, pay tribute to those that um, Perish that day and also to honor those that are currently serving. Okay, well, Ben, very nice work. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay, and stay tuned because we will be right back after this.